Hi everyone, we have this nice geometry problem. In this geometry problem, we have a rectangle A, B, C, D and inside this rectangle, we have a circle and moreover, we are given four tangents to this circle like this. The lengths of these three tangents are given to us, but we want to find the length of the four tan fourth tangent x. And let's see how can we solve this problem. So first of all, uh, let's draw, since this is a tangent, this is a tangent to this circle. If we draw a perpendicular from this tangent to the center of the circle, then this angle will be 90 degree and let's call r to be the radius of this circle okay then i can construct a right angle triangle like this in this right angle triangle this right angle triangle if i use pythagoras theorem then this is the hypotenuse oa then the length of the hypotenuse square of the hypotenuse OA will be equal to the this length the radius uh, R square plus this perpendicular which is 33 so if we use uh, Pythagoras theorem in this right angle triangle then hypotenuse square will be equal to perpendicular square plus the base or adjacent sides so we have this equation right here similarly i can draw a perpendicular on this tangent then this angle will be 90 degree and i can have another right angle triangle here and in this right angle triangle again by using pythagoras theorem we will have ob square ob is this hypotenuse will be equal to r square plus 85 square continue continue like this we can have another right angle triangle here like this and in this right angle triangle the hypotenuse is now oc therefore oc square will be equal to r square plus the perpendicular is now unknown and which is x so we will have this equation and the last right angle triangle will be like this this one and if we, if we use pythagoras theorem here then od square will be equal to r square plus 35 square so we have these four set of equations okay but let's now consider just uh, this right angle triangle the right angle triangle that i had here so I'm going to consider now this right angle triangle ABCD and this is the center of the circle. Okay. And let's draw a line that passes through this center of that circle like this. And suppose this point is P and this point is Q. Let this length AP be equal to X1 and this length P be equal to X2. Then you can uh, tell me what is this length equal to? Yes, this length will also be equal to X because this length is equal to this length. And this length will be equal to X2. Let's do a slide further um, labeling and let's call the length OP as y1 and the length oq as y2 okay now i can have some uh, now i can draw some more right angle triangles for example consider this one this right angle triangle the shaded one then you can tell me now by using pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse is oa if we use again Pythagoras theorem, then OA square will be equal to perpendicular square plus adjacent, adjacent perpendicular square plus adjacent square. So therefore, we will have x1 square plus y1 square. But I can have another right angle triangle, this one. And in this right angle triangle, OPB. The, um, the hypotenuse is OB, therefore OB square will be equal to the perpendicular, uh, the, we have 
these two sides x2 square plus y1 square continue like this and we can have another right angle triangle this one and if we use Pythagoras theorem then this is the hypotenuse therefore OC square will be equal to x2 square plus y2 square and finally in this right angle triangle this one the hypotenuse is OD OD square will be equal to x1 square plus y2 square okay so these are the set of equations these are four set of equations we got from uh, the first diagram and these are the set of equations we got from second diagram so if you look at here if i compare these equations the left hand sides are equal therefore the right hand sides must be equal therefore the first equation will be x1 square plus y1 square and that will be equal to r square plus 33 square and similarly the left uh, this guy the right hand side of the second equation which is x2 square plus y1 square this should be equal to the right hand side of the second equation over there and if we continue like this then we get so we get these four set of equations let's call this as equation one this is our equation 2 this is our equation 3 and this is our equation 4 and what do we want to do we want to find the value of x if you look at here we have four equations and we want to find the value of x okay so first of all let's subtract 1 from 2 so let's subtract equation 1 from 2 now look at here we have equation 1 and equation 2 we are subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 if you subtract 1 from 2 then x1 will be cancelled with x oh, sorry if you subtract 1 from 2 then y1 is going to be cancelled with y1 so we will have x2 square minus x1 square equal to r square will be cancelled with r square and we will have 85 square minus 33 square and now let's subtract these two equations let's subtract equation 4 from equation 3 then y2 square will be y, uh, cancel with y2 square and the left hand side will be x2 square minus x1 square and on the right hand side this r square will be cancelled with this r square and we will have x square minus 35 square okay now we get these two equations but if you look at uh, the left hand side of these two equations then the left hand side is same therefore these two um, the, since the left hand sides are same therefore the right hand sides must also be same in other words we have x square minus 35 square is equal to 85 square minus 33 square we want to find x so let's add 35 square on both sides so on the left hand side i have x square and on the right hand side i have 85 square plus 35 square minus 33 square okay but what is 85 square let's simplify let's find 85 square 85 square means 85 multiplied by 85 and 5 times 5 is 25 5 to carry and we will have 42 here then 8 times 5 is 40 4 carry 6 8 eights are 64 plus 4 is 68 and that will be 5 to 12 carry 1 7225 so 85 square is 7225 plus instead of uh, finding squares here i am just using this formula here that says if you have square of two numbers square of one minus square of second then that will be equal to their difference times their sum okay and that will be equal to seven 
7,225 plus 35 minus 33 is 2 and 35 plus 33 is 68. 2 times 68 is equal to 136 and let's add 136 with 7225 uh, 6 plus 5 is 11 carry 1 so we will have 7361 but that is equal to x square and we want to find the value of x then let's take square roots on both sides so x is gonna be equal to 7361 inside the square root symbol so this guy so this x right here is equal to square root of 7361 and that's the value of x we wanted to find thank you